All right, <clears throat> doing a carburetor for a Rebel 250, my Turbo Rebel, and this this will go for uh, your carburetor for your regular bike too. So I went and disassembled the whole thing. Um, this is my first one that I got, Six Sigma Racing. This one is pretty good. Came with um, I don't know, I can't remember, but it came with a drill bit and the standard jetting, and they already pre-jetted it for you. Um, they gave you a couple jets. You could pick one or two, or uh, a couple shims, or drill out the needle or whatnot. The other one that I got was from Jet Calculator. Um, they sent me a uh, main jet, pilot jet, <clears throat> and shims. So I went and disassembled pretty much my whole my whole thing here. Um, These are where we're putting it. This is where the the um, float needle goes. And make sure you clean that good because if you don't, your float needle will stick. And this one is kind of crummy inside, but we'll see if it sticks or not. Um, you can clean it with uh, steel wool. Just make sure you blow it out. Oh, let's see. Here's the little, little float. Right. Let's see if this is bad. Um, if this is dry, you take the little tip there and you rub it, rub it on its side, on a white piece of paper, and it should um, it should leave a mark. If it leaves a mark, then it's bad. It's dry. And you can tell if it's seeding correctly, but make sure if you're going to do this with steel wool, make sure you don't mess up this tip. But this comes with a gasket. If you buy a new one, it comes with a gasket for like uh, 20 bucks. I think 20 bucks. But this is what makes your carburetor stick is get that gas over your fucking leg. You don't shit off your. Uh, Gaff went leaks everywhere, so this is and, and you don't have to throw everything away, you can buy new. I mean, but you can't bend these little tabs here either because I'm assuming it's preset. So let's see if this uh, seats in there good, and it doesn't really probably because I've been scratching on it, but. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna stick. You can tell if it's gonna stick. If you can't pull it out with your fingers, it's gonna stick. Yeah, and I'll scratch around in there too, so I'm gonna have to get the tool to get that out. But anyways, so with the new one, all you gotta do is uh, make sure make sure the uh, jet little screwdriver does it maul that up because you maul that up and it's not going to run right so that one goes there make sure you get the right screwdriver too and you don't need to tighten the living hell out of this just snug it up there you go. It ain't gonna go anywhere. Okay, and then <clears throat> this one right here, this long piece here, um, this is already in there. They give you the jet that goes on top, but I'm too lazy to take it apart and show you. You gotta figure that stuff out for yourself. But I'm just showing you inside what it looks like before you tear it all apart. So then you put that in there. Let's say we snug that down too. <laughs> Make sure you, if you're going to clean this, blow it out all the time. Blow it out all the time. Um, <clears throat> then this is the float. As you can see, there's little tabs in the bottom. You want to put your float needle in there. <laughs> Thank you.
And, ooh, dang it. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky on me here, so be careful. So it goes down in there, just like so. Then you got this little pen. It goes right in there. You don't have to force it in there. It goes in pretty easy. Make sure you have one of these little picking tools. Got this at Harbor Freight for like a whole set of them for like six bucks. And you can already tell it's go that float's going to stick. So anyways, you do that. Okay, down inside here, you can see that. Right down in there. I'll turn this baby over. Right down in... There, that's where the needle seats. Needle. Shims. That they give you. And, um... Diaphragm, make sure you don't mess this up. Sometimes people like to drill this hole out here for um, one of these holes for faster uh, suction acceleration response. Um, drop that needle right down in there. Then there's like this little springy thing. Um, you'll have to get down there with a, I don't know, a little extension and a little, this is plastic, a little socket. This goes on top of the, it holds it down. Well, you can't really see, but you got to twist in there and, and lock it. There's some little channels. So you do that. <clears throat> Stick that baby down in there. Make sure you don't bend the damn needle. Be careful. That tip can get messed up too. So that tip fits down inside the jet. Opens it up. So by putting the shims in there, um, it lets more gas in an idle. Uh, line up the little alignments here and then there's a spring that goes in here goes in goes in the top here like that here let me move this down it goes in there like that it has a little keeper on it and then you stick it down like that so then you button everything up and that's kind of how you do it I just did a quick run by to show you how I did it and uh, here's the inside of the bowl the accelerator pump so okay there you go man a little bit of that hopefully that helped make sure you Get something to put it in. Don't lose crap. And get, and get a freaking manual for God's sakes. Alright, if you want to know jet size for the turbo or jet size for the year, just let me know and I'll tell you. Alright, see you later, YouTube.